Good afternoon, Chicago. I'm London Shannon. And I'm Macy Krupasevich. Welcome to Studio 51. We're called Studio 51 because we are located here at this beautiful street side studio at 51 East Pearson Street, Loyola's downtown campus. We have a great show for you today. Our news roundup gives you a summary of this week's biggest stories, including those cubbies. Then we'll hear about a new diet that could improve your brain cells. Later on, our sports guru gives his two cents on the Cubs' dismal showing, and our foodie gives a taste test at a popular Mexican restaurant you will want to check out. Finally, it's not time for winter coats just yet, but maybe raincoats. We'll have your weekend weather report. Now to our news correspondent, Alana Ballantyne for our top stories. Thanks, London. The wait is over. Joe Biden will not be entering the 2016 race to the White House. The vice president made his announcement yesterday, saying that his family was not prepared for such an intense campaign so soon after the loss of his son, Beau. Biden was considered a strong contender in the race, though he never officially entered the primary. Many believe that the vice president had the potential to beat out frontrunner Hillary Clinton for the Democratic nomination. Biden ended his announcement by promising that while he will not be a candidate in the 2016 race, he will not be silent during the campaign. In Chicago, it's not back to the future for the Cubs. The Cubs lost Game 4 last night to the New York Mets, ending their journey to the World Series. More on that later during Sports in 51 Seconds. He's saying that Chicago is the most obvious example of what is wrong with the criminal justice system. Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy is making waves in Washington, D.C. and across the country with his comments on gun laws and jail sentences for nonviolent offenders. His comments come after one of the most violent months in Chicago's recent history. Last month, more than 50 people were shot over the course of two weeks. McCarthy wants stricter gun laws and decreased jail time for nonviolent drug offenders. Also in Washington, the man who has refused the Speaker of the House position may be reconsidering. Congressman Paul Ryan, favored by many mainstream Republicans, has secured the support he needs from the Freedom Caucus. This group of 40 ultra-conservative lawmakers has made several concessions to Ryan and are now saying that a majority of their members will support Ryan's bid for Speaker of the House. A vote and final decision will be made by next week. The Cold War is heating up again, and this time the battleground is Syria. Russian President Vladimir Putin is not backing down from his controversial support of Syrian leader Bashar Assad. President Assad unexpectedly flew to Moscow on Wednesday to speak with the Russian president. This just days after a new report from U.S. intelligence officials found that Russian missiles that were supposed to be targeting ISIS were instead targeting CIA-backed Syrian rebels. And finally, you may have seen a man in a pink baseball hat sitting behind home plate during the playoffs. That man, Jim Anaxier, now known as the pink hat guy to Cubs fans. Anaxier, a lifelong Cubs fan, has been going to Cubs games for 67 years. He began wearing the pink hat for luck, and so his wife will be, would be able to see him in the stands. Even though the Cubs did not make it all the way this season, you can be sure to look for Jim in the stands next season. And that's your news summary. I'm Lana Ballantyne. Back to you at the desk. Well, that's commitment right there. Maybe I should look into a new fashion statement. Well, the pink hat is already taken, so keep that in mind. Oh, I will. More issues are coming up with marijuana use. Now to health reporter Patrick Rabarczyk. Patrick? Thank you, Macy. Marijuana. More adults are using it. According to a new study by the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, adults have doubled their use of marijuana. Some research tells us that many of those adults are using marijuana in a more mature way than in their youth. However, researchers say there are still some risks with marijuana, including addiction, psychological impairment, and loss of cognition. Speaking of cognition, we know many college students use energy pills while studying for exams. Well, now there's a new warning out about those energy pills and dietary supplements. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, these pills can cause chest pain or irregular heartbeats and are responsible for more than half of all ER visits among patients ages 5 to 34. Experts say you should always ask your doctor before taking any supplements. Meanwhile, if you're looking for brain food, your best bet is on a diet rich in fish, legumes, olive oil, and fresh fruit and vegetables. According to a new study in the journal Neurology, eating this Mediterranean-style diet may delay brain shrinkage. The study says people who follow this diet, along with a low consumption of meat and dairy, will have a larger brain capacity. The diet also has other health benefits, including better heart health and a reduced risk of diabetes. 
With today's health update, I'm Patrick Rabarczyk. Back to you at the desk. Maybe I should check into that new diet. Yeah, that diet definitely sounds promising. I wouldn't mind a few extra brain cells. <laughs> Me either. Now after the Cubs' sad saga, who knows what will happen with the Chicago teams. Here's our sports in 51 seconds with Shams Charania. Here we go. The clock is ticking. London Macy, as you guys know, the Cubs' magical season ends in a surprising sweep to the Mets. Despite this huge defeat, it was still a successful season for the Northsiders, who lost to the Mets 8-3 last night, losing all four games in the best of seven National League Championship Series. Led by Jake Arrieta and John Lester, the Cubs pitching staff could never find its rhythm in the series, nor could the team's bats find a groove. But there is no question this team is built to contend for years to come. Meanwhile, on the hardwood, the Bulls' season opener against Cleveland is five days away, but do not expect Joe Kimno to begin the year as a starter in his ninth NBA season. Nikola Miritich is expected to start alongside Pau Gasol this season. In the NFL, the Bears are on the bye week and are off until Monday when they begin preparing for Minnesota in Week 8. And don't forget about the 3-3 Blackhawks. They'll be back in action against the Panthers tonight at the United Center. Don't expect Dun Duncan Keith to be on the ice either. That's all for now. I'm Sean Shani for Sports in 51 Seconds. Back to you guys. Well, we wish the best of luck to the rest of our Chicago teams. Coming up, our foodie goes to a Mexican restaurant within walking distance of Loyola's downtown campus. And do you want to know what to wear this weekend? Weather will be up next as well after these short messages. Stick around. Oh, that was nuts. <laughs> That's crazy. That was fun. Crazy. You got some killer dance moves. You're tearing up that dance floor. You were too by yourself. Nah, I try, I try. So what are you trying to do now? I don't live too far. Go back to my place, have a beer. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Brandy? Crazy oh, seeing you here. Oh, what's up? How you been? Nothing. Just love slapjacks. Probably just gonna head home and kick it. Yeah. So who do we have here? Oh, my bad, dude. We just met. This is Stacy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yo, Randy, you might want to double check who you're bringing home tonight. She might not be who you think she is. What are you talking about? She's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, step aside, homie. I'm gonna go home, enjoy the rest of my night. Stacy, let's go. Are you ready for that fun surprise tomorrow morning? Know your limits. Sponsored by the state of Illinois. Welcome back to Studio 51. Thanks for staying with us. Are you in the mood for some Mexican food? Here's our foodie, Adriana Unsueta, with more. Hey, Loyola. There's a new taco in town. Belva Taco is located on the corner of Rush and State, just an eight-minute walk from Studio 51. I was pretty excited to try these tacos, and I was not disappointed. When I arrived, the eclectic decorations, big crowd, and enticing smells greeted me. The menu offers a wide variety of different options, including chicken, beef, and even veggie tacos. I ordered the rotisserie chicken, bacon burger, and fried paneer tacos. The rotisserie chicken taco was by far my favorite because of its slow roasted chicken and handmade tortillas. You cannot go wrong with this choice. My second option, the bacon burger taco, tastes exactly what it sounds like. I felt like I was eating a burger with a tortilla instead of a bun. While tasty, it was a bit too salty. Need a vegetarian option? Try the fried paneer taco, but don't let the veggies fool you. This taco had just as much flavors as the others I tried. Velvet Taco is very affordable with prices averaging at about $4 per taco. One downside is a small location. It gets very crowded, especially during lunchtime. Nonetheless, Velvet Taco is a place worth your while. For Studio 51, I'm your foodie, Adriano Unsueta. I love that place. Have you been there yet? No, I haven't. But after that review, I will have to check it out. You have to check out the chicken tikka. It's to die for. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> it will be another fall weekend here in Chicago. Let's go to our meteorologist, Alex Alexandru, for the weather report. Thanks, London. Thanks, Macy. This beautiful fall weather is going to continue not only today, but going into the weekend as well. Right now, it's 60 degrees. The high for today is 65 with a low of 44. Now let's move on to the weekend forecast. Tomorrow we're expecting a high of 66 with a low of 53. There will be some sun, but it will be mostly cloudy. It will be even cloudier later that night and those clouds will bring a slight chance of rain. Saturday will be the warmest day this weekend with a high of 71 and a low of 48. 
However, if you go out on Saturday, make sure to bring your umbrella because there is a chance of showers earlier in the day and possibly even a thunderstorm. But all of that is expected to clear up by Saturday night. Moving on to Sunday, we're expecting it to get chillier but also sunnier. It will be mostly sunny throughout the day with a high of 60 and a low of 44. By the way, Chicago is hosting its first all-day Halloween festival and parade this Saturday starting in Millennium Park. So make sure to take advantage of that 71 degree Saturday high. Go out and enjoy it. Just don't forget to bring an umbrella. This has been your weekend weather forecast with Studio 51. I'm Alex Alexandru. Now back to you at the desk. Thanks, Alex. I'm out of town this weekend, so I cannot complain about the rain. I wish I could avoid the rain. Looks like I'm just going to have to get out my rain boots. <laughs> yes, you will. That's all we have for you today. Thanks so much for watching our first show. I'm London Shannon. And I'm Macy Grubasevich. Have a great week. Oh,